it's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Gale Network, which is another drip fork. Yes, another drip fork. But I mean, this one's going to be launching on the Binance Smart Chain, but also the Kronos Chain. Now, we've not seen a drip fork on the Kronos Chain, so there could be a gap in the market for that. Uh, this is 1.2% daily interest, okay? Which works out about 438% for over 365 days. But if you're compounding it on a daily basis, you can make up to 7,778%, it says here. So, um, you know, for those of you that are daily compounders and just religiously compound every single day, that's what you can make on this potential project. So we've got an informational video right here, which you can check out in your own time if you'd like to. It's got an informational video, it's put together pretty well, actually. And um, yeah, they're actually going to be having a auction type pre-sale, which is a Dutch auction. So if you've ever bought a pre-sale on Copper Launch, for example, it's going to be similar to that. Um, it's going to go public on the second day and on the first day, it is whitelist. Okay, it gives people the earliest opportunity to get into. However, the pre-sale tokens will be claimed to stake. Okay, so when you claim them, they're going to go automatically into a stake. Now, I'm whitelisted for this project. And the dev explained that it's a max allocation on the first day of only $50. So you don't need to worry about any dump because it's a $50 um, day one auction uh, max. And um, yeah, uh, when you claim them, you, you claim them straight into a stake. So, you know, a lot of tokens are going to be locked up on this. And the auction will last about 180 days. So it's similar to kind of what we saw on Rex. Um, but like I said, it's a Dutch auction, so the price will be moving um, while the auction is taking place. Um, so, you know, um, you will be able to mint tokens. Obviously, there's a mint function on this. And um, there are some already minted tokens, of course, um, which explains somewhere. Right, right here, there's a pre-mint of 345 million tokens to cover for airdrops, marketing, and so on, liquidity, and so on. Right, guys, so obviously with the Dutch auctions... Um, they're not everyone's cup of tea, but um, I understand why it's being done that way. And I've seen it being done before. So, um, yeah, I mean, auction day two, um, between two and 180 uh, days will be like your public sale. And, of course, the whitelist will be on the very first day of auction. Uh, so it just gives those people a chance to get in super early. But like I said, it's only a $50 um, allocation. Okay, guys, uh, the seed will be locked. Airdrops, 1.88%. Liquidity 1.88%. So, you know, there's a lot of potential for this to pump right out the gate with low liquidity. And um, it's going to be sort of like, you know, we saw with Hex, sort of like we saw with those types of platforms. So there's a lot of potential for this to pump. All right, guys. Um, how it works, um, we already know how these things work already. Uh, there's going to be a lottery, a launch pad, NFTs, referrals, and so on. Um, obviously, you guys can take your time to uh, check this thing out a little bit more thoroughly. Now, there is an audit and a KYC. Um, so, the audit is with solid proof. Okay. Now, I've, I have actually looked through the whole audit. I recommend you do your own research. Okay, guys. A lot of time, I don't know what I'm looking at. In fact, in fact, this is the first time I've actually looked through a whole audit. All right, guys. But I did look through it. It's also been KYC'd with RugDoc. Now, I know it's some warning signs here. Uh, but I think all of these can be explained. Um, first of all, the mint burn function um, uh, function is callable by whitelisted addresses. And of course, the owner is going to be whitelisted. That's not a problem. Okay, guys, uh, obviously, we know that um, there's, uh, you know, we, we're minting new tokens because of the type of auction it is a certificate of deposit platform. The owner can set a custom tax rate for an account and tax can be set up to 100%. Not sure about that one. Okay, but I'm sure it can be explained. The owner can add and remove any address from the whitelist, uh, which is, you know, you know, understandable. And uh, liquidity hasn't been supplied yet. Okay, so obviously that's the, the most obvious, you know, uh, point there. Okay, guys, so, um, you know, nothing really concerns me too much there. Um, they've put it as a medium risk. Of course, there's risk in all of these sorts of things. Okay, guys, so don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. And, um, yeah, do your own research. So for me, this is one worth taking, taking a calculated risk on at the end of the day. And um, what I'm banking on is the low liquidity, big pump. And, um, you know, we've seen these sorts of tokenomics before, kind of. Uh, we know that, uh, you know, drip works. 
Um, you know, one of the main concerns in the space right now is drip forks are not really doing as well as drip, as as well as drip. But the way they're doing this one, I'd look at it more like Rex, more like you know that sort of thing. Okay, guys. So, uh, you know, uh, do your own research, take your own risk. You know, manage your own risk and so on. All right, guys. So, you know, um, I do recommend you go and join their socials. Okay, um, they have their own uh, Telegram channel and so on. Um, very uh, small amount of people online in comparison to the number that they've got for uh, the actual group, 6,360, 257 people online. It is a little bit quiet in there, uh, but, you know, um, you know, let's see how this thing goes, guys. I'm going to leave all the links in the description. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. Let me know what you think in the comments about this project as a whole. And um, yeah, come and join us also in the Crypto Insomniacs Telegram group. Link is in the description. That is from my Telegram group, uh, where you can get the opportunity to whitelist for projects just like this. All right, guys. And that being said, it's the end of the video, and I will see you in the very next one.